встречайте, Джон Стюарт, старший вице-президент ЦИСКО по разработке решений для информационной безопасности. Инновационная безопасность в стремительно меняющемся мире. Because if I were to try and speak in Russian, this would be the shortest talk we would have. I studied Russian for six months, 25 years ago, and I remember almost none of it. It is great to see you all, and it is great to be in Kiev. This is my first visit to the Ukraine. It will not be my last. I have enjoyed seeing your city for a few hours yesterday. I enjoyed the welcome that we were given every single place that we went. And as I look out among all of you, I'm smiling because you all look much younger than I do. Which means you have a vibrant future in the IT and certainly in cybersecurity here in the Ukraine, which means I need to come back. I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about my experiences over 27 years of doing computer security. I started it in 1988 when the internet was barely born. And I've seen the changes that have happened all the way through to today. One of those changes is happening right here. This conference has about 1,300 people, 1,300 people registered. And I am pretty certain you each have at least two, if not three, or four, or five, computers, phones, tablets, or something that connects to a network. In five years' time from now, it is expected that we will have seven times as many as we do today connected to the worldwide networks. Today, we have approximately, approximately 14 billion and within five years, we're expecting to see 50 to 100 billion connected systems on the net. How is that possible? What are they all going to be doing? I have seen cameras throughout the city. I've seen traffic lights throughout this city. I've seen all the cars in your cities. They're each being connected to a network. And each and every one of us is using more technology than ever before. There are modern computers being put into televisions, being put into refrigerators, being put into our daily life everywhere we look. Now the good news is, I'm sure this won't cause any problems at all. This will be perfect. We'll design it correctly. There'll be no difficulties. It'll be spectacular because all of you are building it. So if it goes right, you get to take credit. If it goes wrong, it's your fault. Keep that in mind. And it's because every country, including here, is using information technology to grow the economy. The Ukrainian economy is predicted to dip and go down by 3 to 5 percent by the end of this year, but return to growth next year. You've got a strong, vibrant economy here in the Ukraine. Information technology is changing every industry. Shipping, manufacturing, technology development, software, services, 
So it is being used in every single field that exists inside of a country here. There was a result. Are you trying to trick me over here? They changed the slides here, so it suddenly changed right beneath me, so I was going. As a result, you see the changes in how your world will go and how you will grow the economy of the Ukraine. To do it, however, means that we have to design it right with security in mind, which, by the way, has not been done for the most part. That security element will have to have a series of very specific pieces. And here's what they look like. First, the security that we built today is not good enough. Not by a lot of ways. We have to change the entire way that I've been doing it for 27 years. It requires a very different approach. Part of that approach is to detect what is happening in our networks in order to ensure that we stop it from hurting our networks. And the, the reason, frankly, that I travel the globe, including coming here, is because trust is really, really important. And it's hard. But it requires face-to-face -face time. It requires us looking each other in the eyes and saying that we trust one another and that we're going to work together for your success just as much as for Cisco's. Okay, I have just told you in a very few minutes everything that I'm going to tell you. Now let's get into the details. Cisco is the largest security company that exists. You might not know that. You'll think of names like Checkpoint, or McAfee, or Kaspersky, or Trend Micro. You might not think of Cisco, but by revenue, we are the largest security company in the world. At this moment, there are 5,000 people at Cisco that work only on security. It's all they do. We have 75,000 people in the company. So one out of every 15 people at Cisco work on security for you. We have, in the last two years, spent over four billion US dollars on buying and building technology that protects the world. And when I say protects the world, I mean that. And I'll explain that in a minute. We have over 80 different security products and services that are sold. And we operate in 110 countries worldwide. But let me describe to you the most important part. The most important part is that the number one area that we are working on for our whole company, from our CEO saying, this is my number one area, is security. And it's because if we get it right, everything's fine. If we get it wrong, everything is not. I said we protect the globe. I'll give you a sense of that in just a couple of minutes. <clears throat> but the way to protect your network is by putting it in each and every piece. Security is not something separate. It's something that needs to be in the way you run your organization and the way a country approaches its success. From a technology standpoint, there's security inside of endpoints. So that's where we start putting security here. But what you may not know is that there's security also here in the facility, in your sports facilities, that we put in place in order to protect you while you're traveling and visiting us. And that's what we would call a branch. 
We then move to the campus where your buildings, our buildings, my campus, has security embedded in the network. And then move on to data center and cloud and ultimately the way we operate the entire company. This took us 10 years to get right. So it's not like you can just do it slowly and it's not like you can just do it tomorrow. It takes time to get really right. Now what does really right look like? Cisco's been here in the Ukraine since 1998. We've grown our business successfully with each of you. And even though there have been changes here since we first started the business here in, in the Ukraine, one of the things that's been really successful is the networking academies here. In fact, a number of you, I bet, have been through at least some of our training courses. We've partnered with both government and private companies, Kievstar, Ukrainian Telco, certainly the, uh, the security services, to help use what we build to enable the country's success. We've given feedback and information and ideas and cooperated as partners on your national cybersecurity strategy. We've got team members locally that work inside of the um, information security group here in Ukraine. And last, we're partnering with your computer emergency response team. I bring all of these up because even though we're a big company and we're worldwide, part of the reason I'm here is to see how we work together up close and how we can get better. Today's cyber landscape is the scariest I have ever seen. By scariest, you have to look at some of the results and how all the work that we have done still is not making the big difference we needed to make. Regardless of how much we've tried, the amount of spam email and phishing attacks and attachments that are infected computers have not gone down. Now, none of this is going to work unless you trust us. Who is the most, who's the person you trust the most in your life? Is it the person you're married to? Is it your parents? Is it your brother? Is it your sister? Is it the person sitting next to you? Is it your friends? Trust is the hardest thing to do. And as an American headquartered company, sometimes that goes well for us and sometimes it doesn't. But trust is really critical. And I've learned being here that coming and visiting you and, and asking questions about what is the Ukraine going through? What are Kiev citizens going through? Where is your history? I've learned so much in the last 24 hours, including all of your history of, of how, this, uh, uh, how this city was even built, that you deserve to know why you should trust us to go to help you. We published this on a website called trust.cisco.com. We published it so all of you could hold us accountable as the best company you can work with. That's what my goal is. That's what our company goal is. Is that you look to Cisco and go, that is the best company I can ever work with. They're the best people. It's the best technology. They give us the best value. They work hard. They're committed to Ukraine. They're committed to me. They're committed to my company. This was only just published six months ago. It's a universal set of statements that says why we will protect you. I get asked many questions. I get asked, for example, does Cisco put software in our products that help a government uh, take information or steal information from you? I've been asked that question. It's a very fair question. No, we don't. 
We will not. How are you designing your products to be better? We commit to you that we'll design them with security in mind as we build them. It's a phone, or it's a router, or it's a data center server, or it's a, it's a firewall. All of them will be designed with security in mind. We'll be transparent to each of you. Here's what it is we do, and here's how we do it. And then we'll be accountable. Things will go wrong. I promise you this. We are building so many products that we will make a mistake in how we build one of them. If anyone in the room has never made a mistake, raise your hand. I suspect that at least all of you have made one. I know I have. But being accountable and fixing it is what matters. So this is how we actually build, in my opinion, how we build and earn your trust as a company. Because it's not just about building something, it's how we build it. There are employees here that are working on products of the future. There are employees in India working on products of our future. There are employees in China working on products of the future, all for Cisco. And we had to design in a much better way to make it harder to break into products that we build and make you safer in the process. To give you a sense of how important this is for you, you and I both know that hospitals, transportation, water, food, all of those will rely on IT technology in the future. So we better get this right. Because if you're going to a hospital, which I hope you don't have to, but if you do, and they're about to use technology to help you, it better darn, darn well be correct in order to make sure that it doesn't go wrong for all of us. So I told you everything I was going to tell you at the beginning. Now I'll give you some of the details. Now I want to summarize it very quickly. I came to Kiev because I wanted to see, as I often do, a different culture, a different set of people, and find out what concerns you. It's the only way to learn is to visit, to stand on the ground, to breathe the air, to meet people, to ask questions. What I learned was you have a vibrant IT economy here. You're going through a digital transformation as a country. You have some concerns on national security. You've got an incredible amount of technology being used here in your cities. You have a very young IT team. And I see all of you very much smiling about that. It's growing here, which means you're, you will need to be able to tell us what we need to do better for you. Oleg certainly is the country manager, and Jan has been fantastic. We've got Val, we've got Vlad. We've got an entire Cisco team that's committed to being here, helping you with your country's success and your personal success. It's the reason this conference exists. It's the reason that I'm here. We have to do security differently, and I need your help. I genuinely need your help. I need to make sure it works for you. The way we're building it, the way we're designing it, the way we're uh, <coughs> giving it to you and offering it to you. I know we have to improve detection. I know we have to do it. You all depend on IT. We have to get better and get faster and making sure that a government or a hacker or a crime ring does not succeed. Because that removes trust, that reduces success. And speaking of trust, I'm asking you to trust Cisco. We may look like a large US company at times, and that's where we started. But we think of ourselves now as a global company, not as a US company. Over 50% of the money we make at Cisco 
is made outside the United States, not inside. And we know that. We look at economies that are growing. We look at countries that are changing. And we already see what we can do next. We just get to 50 billion connected devices in five years. But none of that will work unless we get security right, which is the reason that we've embedded in our lives. It's the reason that Cisco's number one priority. It's the reason we have spent so much money building the technology that we have today. So I'm asking you to trust us, but I'm asking you to give us the feedback that I need. My email address, my personal email address, is jns at cisco.com. Tell me what I need to know. Long beyond when my time is here, which is too short. Make sure that we build it for you, and build it right, and give us the feedback that we need in order to be here in another five years. Thank you very much for listening to me for a short while. I look forward to coming back to your wonderful country. I see lots of smiles, which is very much warming my heart. And I very much appreciate you guys both being our customers and coming here today. Thank you. Специалисты с международно признанной квалификацией CCNA способны проектировать, настраивать, а также эксплуатировать компьютерные сети и соответствующее оборудование, как небольших предприятий, так и огромных интернет-провайдеров. Среди них можешь оказаться и ты. Начни свою карьеру инженера сетевых технологий в IT-сфере вместе с Cisco.